On this plot, Mohamed Walbrook is building his future home. This one-acre piece of land cost him nothing. In Barbuda, land is owned in common. It cannot be bought or sold. I got the, um, this property by uh, going through the Barbuda Council. When you see the area you want, you do the necessary paperwork that you have to fill out, and it becomes yours. It's free. The first inhabitants of Barbuda were Africans reduced to slavery. Upon abolition in 1834, the Barbudans were forgotten by the British crown. They had brought with them their traditions. They organized themselves to collectively manage the land, as their ancestors did. In 2007, this custom was enshrined in the law with the Land Act. These ones um, haven't been taken by newspapers. Mohamed Walbrook is a photographer. Like the other inhabitants of the island, he lost everything in 2017 after Hurricane Irma. This cyclone, one of the most violent on record, destroyed a large part of Barbuda. I would describe it as the worst night you could ever go through in your, in your whole life, going through Irma. You had winds howling like you've never heard anything before. It was terrifying. In the aftermath of the hurricane, the government ordered the evacuation of all residents to Antigua, the main island of this archipelago state. This trauma is still present in everyone's mind. These photos are um, of people after the mandatory evacuation was issued. For six weeks, Barbudans were prevented from returning home. Most left by boat, some, um, some people left by plane. Barbudans were only waiting for one thing, to come back and rebuild their island. Since 2018, Prime Minister Gaston Brown has been trying to introduce private property to Barbuda. He wants to make the island a paradise for wealthy tourists. When we came back, there were already construction workers here. So that's one of the things. No one was here, so they could pretty much do whatever they want. North of Barbuda, the American group PLH is building more than 400 luxury villas, artificial lagoons, and a golf course. Activist John Mussington wanted to show us how PLH discreetly privatizes the most beautiful beaches on the island. This checkpoint is in the middle of the public road. This road leads down to the beach. What's your name? We can't let you know. OK. Get permission. After a few minutes of negotiation, security threatens to call the police. I'm pressing charges. Mm -hmm. um, make sure to take a picture, Janice, where that vehicle is. John Mussington's accusations are ruffling feathers. Just passing home. We'll have a conversation. No, you stay right here until the police come. Let's let the police resolve it. Foreign investors cannot buy land on the island. The Council of Barbuda leases them a plot for a period of 50 years. But the authority of the council is questioned by the government of Antigua. What the government is trying to tell us is that our system of common ownership is preventing development. And if we want to get development in Barbuda, then we have to start allowing the land to be sold, freehold. Once you open up a market like that, then property values are going to go up and it's going to go outside of the reach of the ordinary Barbuda. In 2015, celebrated actor Robert De Niro bought the lease to this former hotel destroyed by Irma. The government of Antigua is said to have promised him that this lease would become his if the Land Act is revoked. This promise was honored in 2018. While the population was still dispersed following Hurricane Irma, the Land Act was cancelled. Since then, Barbudans can buy back their land from the government for a dollar. Only a hundred inhabitants have chosen this procedure. With a change in the land system, where people are now able to buy land. Millionaires will buy this. They'll put up the ten foot fences. Barbudans won't be able to afford it. So we're locked out. We become nothing. We disappear. After several appeals, the revocation of the Land Act was ratified by the highest court of Antigua and Barbuda in June 2022. But the council now Good wants morning, to plead uh, its case before the International Court of Justice. George Nye, you all right? Since the start of this political crisis, the government of Antigua has halved the council's budget. So the government has been running a deliberate strategy 
to pauperize the people. And if they can get us to leave from here, that's what they want. But it's not going to happen. The resistance is organizing from Barbuda. John Mussington discovered online other communities that defend communal lands. Me alone sitting here as an isolated individual, I cannot fight the billionaires, but by linking with colleagues in Belize, Jamaica, England, all over the world, we are able to pool resources and that common voice has to be listened to. Around the world, indigenous communities are struggling to preserve their collective property. In 2016, an Oxfam report estimated that 2.5 billion people depend on community land. <laughs>